Hello lovely people and welcome. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today. Today I am continuing to do explorations in abstract art and some more work using modeling paste or molding paste to create texture on the surface before I do my painting. So molding paste, also known as modeling paste, is a suspension of marble dust in a binder, like a glue. Um, and you can mix paint in with it, or you can use it without having the paint in it first and paint on top of it. I am choosing not to paint, not to mix paint in with the molding paste, but just to do textures on top of my wooden panel um, and letting that dry for several days before coming back and building up the paint, the colors I want with the paint. Um, in addition to uh, being interested in experimenting with texture, I have spent the last several weeks absolutely mesmerized by the live webcam footage that is out there uh, of the Icelandic volcano eruption. It has been absolutely fascinating, hypnotizing, and I have been visiting that live webcam every day and just watching the eruption develop and change and it has been fascinating and watching the lava flow. So that is honestly the inspiration for the pieces I am showing you today. I did three pieces, basically all variations on the same idea, and got out my bright yellows, reds, and oranges to play with um, and working with the texture. And that is basically everything I did. I really, really thought this worked out well. And in the two later pieces, I worked a little bit more with layering, letting the paint dry between layers and then building up layers on top. The yellow is the most opaque paint of the bunch, and the red is the most transparent. So by starting with the yellow on the bottom, I was able to kind of build up more and more transparent layers above it and uh, let it kind of glow. I hope that will come through in the video. And then on top of all of that, because I had the texture in the piece, I tried using, in this case, a sponge brush, but in the other two pieces that are a little later in this video, I used a regular paintbrush, and I tried to almost dry brush across the surface. I wanted to get the black paint, the darker paint, and sometimes the deep red, to only catch on the raised surfaces of the textures that I had put onto the panel so that they would stand out, emphasize the depth, and uh, make, it, make it look really interesting. Um, reminiscent of the way that the surface of a lava flow will often cool off rather dramatically and then you'll be able to just see the lava through the cracks. I chose to have more of the reds and oranges show through because I love the colors than you actually see in a lot of the uh, flows that I was looking at. The surface generally darkens pretty quickly, but I was not going for a realistic exact uh, replica. Instead, I was really trying to take inspiration from what I was seeing on the webcams. Um, so I uh, very, very much enjoyed doing this. It was a lot of fun, and the three pieces that I did combined, I think, will be a nice little um, grouping on a wall or something. I'm trying to decide where I'm going to put them. Um, so let me know what you think of this as a concept. Let me know if you think that it comes through in the work I did. I think it does. I don't think it's uh, super subtle. <laughs> so uh, I hope that uh, you like it. And then here are the other two pieces. The three, they're all done on gessoed wood panels. Um, because I didn't want to use canvas because I'm using the textured modeling paste and I was worried that canvas would flex too much and that it would potentially crack more. 
So I'm enjoying working on the wood panels. I haven't done much work on wood before, and I like the surface a great deal. And so these two are somewhat smaller than the first one, and here you can see I started by painting the entire thing yellow and then built up with deeper and deeper oranges into red over time. And in fact, in a couple of these steps, I did let the paint dry completely before going on to the next, uh, because I wanted the layering with the transparent paints rather than the mixing uh, on, the, on the thing. And again, I went back in with the dark colors. And after I put on the black here and let it dry, I felt that it was actually still too orange and yellow and didn't match the first panel well enough. So in fact, I went back in with uh, more reds and deep, deep oranges and basically brought the whole color tone darker. So that's something that I've learned uh, it's taken me a while to learn, is that I can kind of change the entire tone of the piece by layering a transparent la layer over the top. And that's a lesson that uh, has finally <laughs> caught, I guess, in my brain, because it worked very well here. So please like this video, subscribe if you have not, comment below, and let me know what you think of the piece. I'm actually extremely happy with these. Uh, I think they worked out well, and I think they will make a nice little grouping. And uh, as always, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and be well. Thank you so much.